Hey guys, Gaston from Connecting Tennis here. Welcome to another video. Today, what I'm gonna be showing you is I'm gonna use Pedro, okay? I'm gonna keep using him. If you haven't seen the videos with him, he's a, by the moment, he's already a 4.0 player, okay? Playing tournaments, playing a lot of a lot of leagues, trying to get his level up. We're working a lot with him, um, a part of the two pro players that I have, okay? So what I'm gonna show you today, we're gonna work in the down the line forehand. It's a, it's a shot that maybe in the recreational level, okay? Intermediate, advanced. It's a little complicated on why, on how you place your body, how you play the ball, okay, without uh, running a lot of risk or missing the ball long or in the net. So I'm gonna show you with him. I'm gonna uh, tell him to do and mark him to do with his legs, okay, the footwork and the way of hitting the ball. So let's see how it looks, and I'm gonna we're gonna analyze, okay, after the the drills that I do with him, what things I work with him and what you should pay attention to execute this shot. Let's check it out. What we're gonna work now. As if you can see, I put the cones there. Okay, it's just making like a like a line getting on the court. This for him to follow the line, okay? To get in position for the inside out. The things that he has to remember here, it's, I'm gonna do it like this, facing you guys. When you move, you don't have to do like this. Since the moment you know you're gonna uh, try to hit the inside out or inside in, Immediately you're gonna show your back to the court and run okay a little backwards with your toes on the floor okay don't don't run with your heels you're gonna you're gonna trip back so I'm gonna show you and then depending on what he does I'm gonna be correcting his shots let's go commence there you go in that one, it's a little higher. Okay. So you have to run a little behind and get from under the ball. You're trying from the same line, just going up. Let's go. Turn, 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 turn. There you go. Turn, 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 turn. Nice. Let's go, one more. Same there. Yeah, keep the balance. Let's go. Good. Now you see that the one that is when he hits the ball with a semi open, okay? See here if you guys see better. Semi open, okay, here. It's not fully closed, it's not fully open, it's more like a semi open, allowing the hips to bring, okay, to come forward and do this rotation and then going forward with his foot. Most of the balls he hits in the air, that's a ball that you hit a lot in the air, especially when you're rotating, okay, your body through the ball. We're gonna do a couple more, and then we're gonna do the cross court, so you guys can see a different how he plays the body. All right, now we're gonna do a couple more balls. I told him a little, uh, one little detail, okay, for the two balls that he missed is that he didn't hit the ball in front. Should here with this angle, he hit the ball, okay, semi open here, but behind. It's very important when you guys are gonna hit the shot, okay. You have always the racket there in front to have a clean shot, and then play with the hand to take the ball down the line. So he's gonna just now. Okay, the, the footwork, he's not going to be too close stand, he's going to be in a semi-open. He's going to try to hit always the, fro the ball in front and follow the hand through, just like if you were throwing the ball with your hand. So let's see. Let's go. Get it. Front. There you go. I was a little behind still. Get it. Nice. Let's go. Get it. Nice. Okay, four ball, three balls, perfect. Okay, all in. Now with these three, we're gonna work the cross core, okay, the inside out. So now he has to shift a little more the body, okay. Now it's more a semi open, almost uh, showing the back, okay, to our court. If here for the down the line, he was like this and then turning for the inside out, he has to be a little more round in the ball, okay. If the ball here, you have to go way more around almost with your uh, with your toes if you draw a line they're almost going where you want a ball the ball to go and with your hand very important detail you follow through and you you kind of like let the racket go for where where you want you want the ball to go all right let's go now i'm gonna go to a cross court so i'm gonna play a little more here outside go cross court there you go There you go. One more. Nice. See the last one that he struggled a little? 
he turned all the way around he was fine here but then he stayed far from the ball he couldn't he could fix the shot with the hand he actually did it but he was not in the best position all right guys you could see there there was not uh so many things that he needed to adjust he's actually doing very well we work a lot on the forehand uh but the three things that you have to remember okay when you're gonna hit the shot is how you place your your foot okay your footwork how you you do with your footwork if, either if it's uh, a down the line okay inside in or inside out you have to place a little different and a little more close okay pointing to where you want to hit the ball with your toes like i say the trick is if you draw a line here okay you're gonna hit the ball and you draw a line here your toes okay the line you draw has to go for where you want to hit the ball and it's very important that you always hit the ball uh, in front so number one the footwork number two okay hitting in front and the number three okay it's a trick that not a lot of people do because they want to hit hard and then just uh, do a missing finish okay missing end in the stroke it's following with the racket okay with your hand where you want the ball to go so if it's uh, an inside out you're gonna follow okay with your body and with your hand just like if you were trying to touch with your fingers where you want the ball to go same thing with the down the line you hit and you follow there to then fall okay it's very important a lot of coaches a lot of coaches uh, focus on uh, different things I think the footwork the where you hit the ball uh, the placement of your of your hips it's very important but the end okay the finishing of your strokes I think is the most important because it's is the actual um, the actual thing that is going to drive the ball where you want to hit it okay it's what is going to give you the quality and the precision of putting the ball actually where you really want to put it so Pedro guys if you haven't seen it we have a video with him with forehand um, and backhand we have also with the ball is um, he was a 3.0 now he's a 4.0 he's actually playing against and beating guys that are fine point zero. so very soon he's gonna be going a little more in his level he's working really hard following all the trainings and instructions that I'm, gonna, I'm giving him uh, he was able to push his level up so I hope you guys can apply these things thank you and see you in the next one